Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me again. This is day two of our primal reset. Yesterday we went over control pause, ohms, and nollie, and hopefully you guys practice that. I start every day doing that, and I haven't found anything better yet. Today we're going to talk about something extremely important, which is your vision. And your vision is the tip top of what's called your neural hierarchy. That's how you perceive the world. And I learned something pretty interesting about that. So the best information I can get is that your visual system accounts for roughly 75% of your perception of reality and your smell, taste, hearing, and vestibular system account for the other 25%. But here's the really interesting part. From what I understand, of that visual perception, 20% of that is the actual input, what you are taking in light, and 80% of it is the way that it's framed in your mind based on relative experience that you've had. So the vision is this super uh, intricate and sophisticated system, and you might also find it pretty funny that a fish has a very similar eye to a person. I mean, eyes are very similar along many of these trophic levels. So it's so important to be able to take care of this uh, number one sensory piece of equipment. And I think it's kind of funny that we don't guard or protect what we fill our brains with through our eyes a little bit better. So that's some food for thought. 75% of your perception of reality is visual. 80% of that is the way that you frame things, and 20% of that is just the actual uh, electromagnetic spectrum of colors and what have you. So, whoa, super interesting. Anyway, so, uh, first thing we're gonna do is called palm fronding, and you've probably heard of palming before, but we're actually gonna get a little bit of a bonus with this exercise, so. We're gonna start by doing a little Mr. Miyagi. And palming is where you warm up your hands and just place them over your eyes and let the heat kind of wash them is what I've heard. Uh, it feels really nice and you're gonna see a small improvement in your vision most likely right away. And what we're gonna do is once you get your palms pressed up against your eyes so they feel nice and secure, you're going to do some eye circles and then the palm fronding comes in. So you're gonna be sort of like a palm frond on uh, a windy day. And what we're doing basically is, I'm, I'm a double dipper. I'm trying to get maximum benefit for minimum effort all the time, just like humans do. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stimulate your vestibular system by doing some different head movements while the eyes are closed. And if you're able to do it while you're standing, you can do this from a uh, lunge position or, or any kind of challenging position where you'd like to boost up how much work your proprioceptive system is doing. So your bones, muscles, joints, feet, that kind of thing. So we're gonna start just by pressing the palms over the eyes and relax. And then I'm going to have you look straight up. Hold looking your eyes straight up as long as you can. And then we're going to move up and to the right. Do another four counts. You can do this with a metronome. I find doing a lot of movements with a metronome is very rewarding and also really boosts the effectiveness. So as soon as you get a full cycle each way, we're gonna pump up the speed, and then now we're gonna work those semicircular canals of your vestibular system. And like I said, you can do this from seated or standing. I would recommend starting seated, just depends on your skill level. And the three axes that are important are front to back like this, side to side like this, side to side like this. And 
as we get a little bit more competence, you can start actually really swaying things around, incorporating some lumbar circles, side to side, front to back. And you'll notice just with that one move that your entire set of senses have been really stimulated in a nice way. And so in less than two minutes, you can have a huge benefit just from doing that one thing. Now, what I like to do after that is some fingerprint push-ups. You can use like a, something with letters on it, but I prefer something with like really exquisite detail, like your fingerprint. Plus it also might make you just kind of think about what a crazy thing that is, uh, <laughs> that we have built-in grips. So you're gonna take your finger, you're gonna bring it in as close as you can without losing focus. You're gonna maintain that focus with your mouth closed. Mouth breathing is really common. And then you're gonna come back in and you're gonna work on your ability to converge and diverge and also sweep left to right. Next thing, we're, this is a pretty simple exercise, but we can make a huge difference in well under five minutes. And the last thing I wanna show you exercise-wise is the vestibulo-ocular reflex. So it's called a VOR. And we're gonna actually supercharge this even more by doing what I call the pinhole pirate. So what you're gonna do in a normal vestibulo-ocular reflex exercise, by the way, that reflex is a really fancy term, so you can impress your friends and family with that, vestibulo-ocular reflex. Really, it's the system that keeps your eyes focused on the same spot while you move your head around. So if I move my head up and down, I can still read the camera tripod right now, and I can still keep my eyes relatively fixated on that same thing. This is also why I have my eyes in the front rather than on the side. I need to be able to keep my eyes on the target while I'm uh, going for it, whatever that target may be. All right, so vestibulo-ocular reflex is just simply doing those movements that we talked about while keeping your eyes fixated on, on the spot. But I like to, you know, double dip, try to increase the benefit for the same amount of time. And that's really a big part of what this is. So we're actually going to close one eye and I'll, I'll do this at both cameras so you guys can get an idea of what's happening. But I'm gonna close one eye. I'm gonna make a small window with my hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to keep that same Spot while I do those VOR drills. And what's really interesting about this is now you're turning on a little bit of a different axis by using one eye at a time. You can do this with both eyes open, it's just a little bit harder. You'll find that by making that uh, pinhole, you're much more honest and accurate with how you're doing that VOR drill. And what I find really interesting is how much, how tempting it is to just quickly rush through it. This is a very difficult exercise, but there's no skill required at all. There's just patience and listening to your body. So we got palm fronding to kick us off. We have fingerprint push-ups, and then we have our VOR pinhole pirates. Um, and it wouldn't be complete without talking about one of my favorite uh, pieces of equipment called the letter ball. And I wrote, just wrote the letters for smile on this one because that's a good one uh, for me to remember. And so I, I have uh, plenty of these. Sometimes I will juggle them. Even if all you're doing is throwing it against the wall and trying to really call out that letter and see it as it comes to you, that's gonna be a huge perception expanding exercise. And if you can toss it with the friends, all the better. Now, I've already given you some of the absolute best huge benefit exercises that you can do, practices that you can do to improve your vision and also improve everything else. Because as we said, your vision is the tip top of the neural hierarchy. 
And <laughs> let's finish with this. 80% of your visual processing is framing your experience. So it's relating what you're seeing to what you've already seen before. And this is one of the most interesting and unique things about being a human being, in my opinion, is that we have animal bodies, we have animal cells, we got pretty much fish eyes, we got, we got a lot of uh, stuff that is just purely animal, but we also have this need to structure this animal around that human mind. And framing your experience is a huge part of what you ultimately carry forward. And there are all kinds of things we can do linguistically to process things in a simple way. And we really create our own reality. I mean, this, this percentage kind of proves it. You know, it's 20% input, 80% is your own brain outputting and relating that information into something that you can understand. So, think about that. What you see today. You're going to have your eyes open probably most of the day for maybe another 16 hours or so. Uh, think about how much of what you're seeing is really, really real right there and how much is just your relating to those uh, light waves. Interesting thought, right? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Remember to do your own control pause nollie, palm fronding, fingerprinting, and then your VOR pinhole pirates. And I will see you tomorrow at 7-Eleven. Thank you very much. Have a great day.